Da ist der Steifo für VGX. Äh, Are you still awake? So, uh, um, yeah, more stuff to do today. See you in a bit. Bye. Right, EGX is over. <laughs> That's longer than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> uh, so it's been a, it's been a good event. We've had a good time. Uh, four days. We're pretty knackered now, but <laughs> my feet kill. <laughs> feet, legs, all things hurt. Everything you is pain. Damaged your hand. I did damage my hand. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that on the camera though. Yeah. Um, but uh, yes. So today we played uh, Timefall Two. Yep, that was pretty good. Finally got around to that. Even though it was on cursed controller. The... Yeah. I somehow got the most kills in the game. I, I killed two people, and that was it. I, I can't play FPSs on controller. At least you PTFO them. Yes. Yes, I did. Is I that did. Right? I did play the dir yes. director. Yeah. The director. <laughs> I played the prime director. The director. Go to the director room one. Um, so um, we played that. That was great. Um, then we uh, dipped into the old VR sack. There's a there's a lot of VR on this this time round, and uh, we had a go on a game called Unseen Diplomacy. Yeah, that's really cool. It, it describes itself as a VR um, obstacle course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's basically sort of secret agent in the game so you have to yeah. sort of go you're in a room but it, it, the way it works is it generates tiles to fit into that space so you will be going over where you've trodden before but you don't really think about that when you're playing it so you're crawling through vents dodging lasers hacking to get cats up on the screen um, <laughs> lots yeah. of stuff like that it's um, very very good it feels very crystal mazy and apparently that's what it's based on according to the devs yeah, um, there was a section where there's just a wall of drawers you have to go through each of the drawers to find a key card and someone did shout at that point I can see the crystal <laughs> I can see the crystal Automatic locking, etc. Et <laughs> I really want to. Can you stop the phones, please? <laughs> I really want a VR Crystal Maze game. Definitely needs to happen. VR Richard O'Brien. Yeah. Please. So please. we played. We played that. That was good. We both had a go at that. That's where. Yeah. My, that's where my injury came from. Um, <laughs> crawling around on the carpet. Um, we played that. Then we uh, switched over to another VR game, The Tower. Um, which was a uh, great fun. Um, that, basically, that, that, in terms of sort of room space, that was quite clever because it was a tower. You expect one footprint to fall yeah, the entire tower. It's cross section all the way up, isn't it? So um, we um, climbed the tower and we had our bow and arrow, and um, and we were shooting targets to get all the way up to the top. Climb ladders, but there was a wonderful effect on the Vive controllers when you pulled the, the string back, where it felt like it was sort of the grain of the string almost sort of ratcheted in against what you were pulling. Yeah, into. really, really well done. Really, really, really nice. Fun. Definitely want to see lots more things like that. Um, away from the VR space, we uh, went, went to traditional third-person co-op games. Yeah, we played a game called Troll and I. So it's not about internet forums and Tumblr or no. anything like that. It's a uh, where was it based? It said in the video. Scandinavia, something. Like Scandinavia that, I somewhere. Yes. Um, Citation legal. In, in the fifties, I think it was meant to be. Yeah, nineteen fifty-eight. Yes, and um, it was. Um, it's all about. Um, one player controls the troll, one player controls a little kid. And they both have dreadlocks. Yes, and um, you go around trying to solve puzzles, get to pass different areas. And and so obviously the, the small character can do certain things, the troll can't and vice versa, so the small character can't lift huge rock and close up sort of gaping hole in the ground where monsters are going there. Also the small character can't swing his fist and make uh, enemies explode in a shower of blood. The small character <laughs> managed to hit things with his attacks though, unlike yes. the troll. <laughs> so that was good. Um, then we moved over and had a game, had a game, had a go at a game called Brutal with a with an at sign in it. Um, it basically used the aesthetic of the older ro roguelike games or Rogue itself, for example. Yeah. Um, which um, um, we weren't eating. Well, it's ASCII based stuff, but um, it was all um, very um, ARPG that kind of thing, but a little bit more RPG than that. So running around. Trying to um, um, kill the mobs, kill get, the mobs the loot, get the loot. The food. That's, that's it, yeah. A little bit of gauntlet to you as well. Okay, so after that, you had a go at a game called uh, Black the Fall, which reminded me a lot of a, <clears throat> a lot of games we've been playing on the channel. Um, Inside is definitely one of them. Yeah, it, it a lot of familiar of, uh, themes there. It reminded me of uh, Abe's Odyssey in the way, we all, in the way it worked. 
So, you know, you're, if anything spots you or has a gun, you are dead, yep. basically. And you have to sort of as you will the environment to get through it. As you will remember from inside, that also happened in that game. Shoot, 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 <laughs> Many times. But um, yeah, oh, the very, aesthetic very almost made me think Frank Miller, kind of sort of grey, black and white, but with red yeah, highlights. Yeah, yeah. So, sort of like Schindler's List, kind of almost. Yeah, uh, yeah kind of. Well, yeah. Certain things. I only think of that in it that was like Schindler's List, though. <laughs> to be fair. Although I think it was meant to be pretty dark. I mean, it's called black, but you, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, after that, we had a game. The last game we played was called uh, Four Arena. Uh, before we played that, oh. we played the Turing Test. Um, yes, we did. Many of you will know that because it's been out for a couple of months now. Um, great fun, pretty much what I expected. Um, sort of very uh, sort of third per not third person, first person puzzle game. Um, you know, in the vein of uh, Talos Principle and Portal. Portal, things like that. Yeah, uh, that was good fun. Um, um, nothing unexpected from that, really. No, um, it's fun. It was sort of like the, the puzzles got progressively sort of more head warpy, yeah. but they were good. And then the, the last game we played, which we were going to say, was a game called For Amina. Yeah, that was freaking weird. Yeah, that was a weird game. Um, I was struggling with it, so, but to, set, Adam to set the scene, you are a lanky, weird sort of wolf man, man with a fox head and sort of almost um, Oscar Pistorius feet. Yeah, like above you is blade. a massive sort of light. Sort of, I don't know, it's not, not a chandelier, but it's like a cross yeah, section yeah, with a yeah. hanging off it, and there's a weird bird thing at the top, and you have a stool underneath this light. And if you put the stool in the middle of the light and climb on it, the bird shrieks and you only fall off. Um, every now and then the bird shrieks up into the air and meat rains, and I'm not making this up, meat rains down. <laughs> so what you have to do is wait till the bird is stuffing its face, climb up on the stool, at which point it accidentally spits a blob of meat at you and you go from there. Yeah, yeah, and you'll see that in the video. But, um, it's, um, it's very a, weird. Here's a weird situation. Get out of the weird situation in a weird way. Very nice art style, though. Yeah, yeah. Really, really, really sort of, sort of um, pencil drawn almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of shading and things like that. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we did go back to a couple of things we played before, like Dead Cells, because we wanted to play more of that. I ran the daily run and set a, set a time. I thought you were going to go golfing there. <laughs> what, what, uh, what, what happened to your score on the daily run here? Mm -hmm. What happened there? I got lost. I got lost. Which isn't surprising. Do you want me to get the, the Sonic 2 game over music? No, right? you're okay. You're okay. Um, so yeah, we played that as well. Um, yeah, it was a good, good show for us, to be honest. Really good. Um, and then they, everyone walked out to let it go. Yes, of course. So, um, your game of the show, Adam? My game of the show, I'd say because finally they've done it bloody right, after all the dreck, after that the thing that should not be named Sonic 4 <laughs> because because no Sonic Mania I think because mm, I think a close one would be the um, Unseen Diplomacy though just, that was just, fun. just for sheer wow that was fun um, no, Sonic Mania it, they, they nailed it game of the show for me has to be it. Dawn of War 3 um, I've been looking forward to that playing a proper Dawn of War since Dawn of War 1. 2 was great, but for entirely different reasons. Uh, whereas this was that proper... It was more sort of Company of Heroes, wasn't it? With yeah. this specimen and skins on it. This was proper Dawn of War, though. Um, really had a lot of fun, but I really want to play Eldar, because that's my race. Um, and that was good fun. But um, was a close, Filthy Xenos. Close second to that has to be uh, Dead Cells. That was, Dead Cells was great. Dead really Cells good. Was excellent. And uh, that's about it, really. I um, hope you enjoyed the videos we've done over, over the time. We've made a few contacts, so we'll, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll leverage those as much as we can. Um, hopefully you'll uh, come back and see a few of those videos in the future. Obviously, uh, you know where the sub button is and the like button. And we always like to hear from you in the comments, so uh, drop yes. those through. Stick your words in the box below. Hopefully we'll uh, record a bit of footage at the Play Expo. It depends what's there, really. We'll, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll make yeah. a judgment. Um, but, um, yeah, you can follow us on Twitter and you'll find out what we've been up to. Um, that's yeah. all good. So, um, from EGX 2016... Tatty bye. A goodbye. <laughs>